Game Theory in the Real World, a la Shmup. Well, there are plenty of times in life when we want to win. And not just when we're in the middle of a heated game of Dungeons and Dragons. Game Theory takes some of the tougher, more complicated decisions in this world and takes the tough out of them. Okay, so you run a shop where you sell mm, tongue depressors. Mm, guess you decided to go where the really big money is. But uh oh, guy across the street has opened another tongue depressor shop. You have to outsell him. No, like, you really want to bury this guy. But how? Well, enter game theory. If we suppose both shops are selling their wares for equal prices, there are a few ways uh, this game could go. Possibility number one. You increase your price and the other guy also increases his price and, well, that's a wash, no change in market share there. Possibility number two. You increase your price and the other guy decreases his price. Now customers are getting the same thing for cheaper across the street while well, you lose. Bye bye. Possibility number three. You decrease your price and the other guy increases his price and, well, the exact opposite. Now you're going to clean up. Last possibility. Both of you decrease your prices. No, well, another wash. So by using game theory, and in this simplified example, maybe a little common sense, you've determined that if your competitor raises his prices and you lower yours, he'll be done and dusted before he knows what hit him. Okay, all right. It works in economics. Uh, what about robotics? Oh, yeah. Well, it won't be long before the uprising, uh, we're sure. Robots are getting more and more lifelike. How is your reading going, Emily? It's because engineers are programming them with game theory. So when the robots come, uh, good luck to you. Game theory is used in philosophy to help explain why people act the way they do. In biology, to get a handle on where the apes went wrong and evolved into <laughs> us. And in a zillion other fields. Yeah, so we welcome game theory with open arms. Just don't do the same for the robots. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages.